Although dinosaurs, along with many other prehistoric creatures, went extinct millions of years ago, some creatures that walked the Earth with them are still alive today. You'd think that awe-inducing creatures like mastodons, giant ground sloths, woolly mammoths, and even solodons are only fantastic creatures that exist in fantasy movies and novels, but this isn't the case. Join us on this journey to see the most fascinating creatures alive today that lived alongside our loincloth-clad ancestors. Number 10. Gurials Just by looking at them, you can tell that the crocodilian species are very ancient. Did you know that one species of crocodilian called the gurial beats them all in this prehistoric-looking beauty contest? They're among the longest of all living crocodilians and are distinguished by long, narrow, sword-like mouths that are full of buzzy teeth. The distinctive feature is used to catch fish. The male gurials have huge, bulbous noses at the end of their snout that makes them look rather comical. It's crazy yet cool to think that these creatures have been there for tens of millions of years. Unlike their other siblings, gurials are not well suited for land, so they live in clear freshwater rivers, congregating at riverbeds, where the water is deeper and only leave the water to bask in the sun or nest. Sadly, these unique crocodiles face a multitude of threats to their existence, with fewer than 100 individual reproducing gurials left. Fortunately, this situation has led to several conservation efforts in recent decades. The conservation centers in India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan with India playing a massive role in the gharial conservation efforts. If you want to get up close and personal with these spectacular beasts, you'll have to go to the Kukrel Forest Reserve and look now India, Chitwan National Park, and Bidaria National Park in Nepal. Number 9. The Moa Meet New Zealand's largest bird, the Moa. The Moa had a weight of about 3.6 meters, with necks outstretched and weighed about 230 kilograms. They were close cousins to the cassowaries and the Australian emu and were the only wingless birds known to have existed. Like the mastodons and the mammoths, they began going extinct 4,000 and 13,000 years ago when humans began to spread around the world. We probably exterminated them by overhunting. Despite almost always being portrayed as giants, some species of moa were significantly smaller, much shorter than the height of an average joe, and possibly as small as turkeys. The extinction of moas has varied with the change of the climate. They've kept appearing and disappearing without a constant pattern. It's like they're there, and then they're just gone. It wasn't until recently that a moa was seen in New Zealand, and even appears to be slowly coming out of extinction. Before they disappear from us again, scientists need to research and let us know what we can do to keep these beautiful creatures. It's up to us, right? Number 8. The Nautilus Also known as the chambered, nautilus or the living fossil, this shell looking like sea creature is a distant cousin to squids, octopi, and cuttlefish and lives in the deep ocean of Australia and Indonesia. Believe it or not, these alien-looking corkscrew-shaped animals are among the oldest in the world. Unlike its color-changing cousins, the soft-bodied nautilus lives inside its hard external shell. The shell itself has many closed interior chambers that function like the ballast tanks of a submarine. Unknown to people, the nautilus have been living on Earth for about 500 million years, inhabiting coral reefs around the Indian Ocean. Ever since their discovery, the creature's beauty and swimming abilities have long been marveled by writers, artists, and engineers. Though they're not listed as endangered, they're considered to go extinct since they're trapped mostly for their attractive shells and also for the shell's inner layer, called nacre, which is used as a pearl substitute in jewelry and trinkets. Isn't it sad we humans are the reasons why some of these creatures don't exist? Number 7. The Platypus Harry the Platypus, is that you? If you thought the Nautilus is a strange creature, then the Platypus takes the prize home by being the strangest animal in the world. Often referred to as the duck-billed platypus, this creature, unlike other mammals, is an egg-laying mammal. Well, we can now call it a mammal since some time back it had been denied the right to be a mammal. Luckily, its use of mammary glands to feed its young earned it a seat in the mammal classification. The platypus roots date back to prehistoric times over 100,000 years ago. Funny enough, the first scientists to examine a platypus specimen believed that the animal was a hoax. I guess it's no surprise they thought it was just several mammals sewn together, with its duck bill and webbed feet, beaver tail, and otter body and fur. 
It's well adapted for semi-aquatic lifestyle and can be found in rivers, streams, and freshwater bodies of Australia. Before you go out polluting their habitat, you should know that only 40% of the platypus population is remaining. And with the persistence of current threats, it's no doubt a glum future for the platypus. Number 6. The Selenodon Don't be fooled by its size. This creature is one of only few of the most venomous animals. They look like large plump shrews with elongated snouts and multicolored fur. The foot-long creatures roamed all over North America 76 million years ago and are believed to have diverged from other mammals during the Cretaceous period. It gets its name from Selenodon, meaning slotted tooth from specialized grooves in its incisors which produce venomous saliva that's injected into its prey. Selenodons have tiny eyes and poor vision, making them nocturnal creatures, hiding during the day in burrows, caves, or hollowed-out locks. It's easy to identify them as house rats, right? Only a few of these species are remaining and can be found only on the islands of Cuba and Hispaniola. Number 5. The Woolly Mammoth It's unlike us to list down prehistoric creatures without putting the most common prehistoric creatures somewhere in our list, isn't it? But unlike the others, we can't list it as still existing yet. Well, they did exist 4,000 years ago together with early humans, but they're believed to have gone extinct when the weather became warmer and their food supply changed. Apart from that, humans also contributed to their extinction by hunting them down as their tusks were used for fighting and digging in deep snow. There are now rumors that scientists are planning to bring them back to life together with other animals that went extinct. I don't know how well they'll do that, but we trust scientists to make impossible things possible. I'm pretty sure their elephant cousins are anxiously awaiting for them to fill them in with all that happened when they were gone. Number 4. The Elephant Shrew Speaking of elephants, would you have guessed that these small creatures are more closely related to elephants than shrews? Crazy, right? But it's just another wondrous thing that can be found on our planet. The elephant shrew can be found all over the southern parts of Africa. Before that, it was believed that the species had been listed in the lost species category. They extend back at least 45.6 million years, making them older than animals like lions or even giraffes. For over 50 years, they became extinct until recently when they were spotted in Djibouti and Somalia. They're small, resembling a mouse typically growing to be 4 to 12 inches in length, not counting their tails. They also have scaly tails, powerful hind legs, long feet, and long, thin snouts that are similar enough to an elephant's trunk, which gives them their name. Though they're not well-known animals, it's impossible not to adore them. Number 3. The Pelican This may be surprising to many of you, but the pelican lineage has existed for approximately 30 million years. Yes, you heard that right. The even bigger surprise is that the actual number could be much bigger than that. But we leave that to the scientists to do more research into fossil records if necessary. Like the Nautilus, these water birds are also known as living fossils, as they haven't changed that much since prehistoric times. Characterized by their unique long beaks and distinctive stocky build, pelicans are birds that have been a symbol of popular culture since medieval times, appearing in art and on coats of arms. They have a large throat pouch that's known to consume massive amounts of fish, often eating as much as 4 pounds per day. When they're not eating, they spend their time sleeping, sunbathing, or preening. Quite a good life, right? Number 2. The Komodo Dragon Meet the King of Lizards It won this title not only because it's the heaviest, but also the most dangerous reptile in the world. These gigantic lizards weigh as much as 300 pounds and are capable of running at speeds of 20 kilometers an hour. For such short legs, it sure does run fast, don't you think? Its habitat is in the tropical forest or across the islands of Lesser Sunda, in the harsh climate of Indonesia, and they date back as far as 4 million years ago. They eat anything they can find, including humans and even smaller Komodo dragons. Because of this, after baby Komodos are born, they instinctively climb up high in any trees to avoid being eaten by their mothers or other nearby Komodos. They then remain up in the trees until they're four years old. As we've mentioned before, the Komodos are very dangerous since they're venomous. 
They excrete venom through ducts in their mouth into the wounds of their prey. Apart from that, they have very strong jaws and anyone bitten by it could either pass from the bite or the poisonous bacteria found in their jaws. Either way, the victim doesn't last more than 24 hours. Number 1. The Megalodon Though no evidence is there that the Megalodon still exists, many people are still convinced that the creature is lurking in the dark depths of the ocean. It used to dominate the ocean 20 million years ago until it became extinct 3.6 million years ago. It was the biggest shark in the world and also one of the largest fish ever to exist. It grew to between 15 and 18 meters in length and weighed up to 60 tons. In short, it was simply a beefed-up great white shark. For instance, its massive teeth were three times larger than the teeth of a modern great white shark. After watching the movie The Meg, I'm relieved to hear that the beast went extinct before humans even evolved. How would we have survived with it roaming inside the ocean? Though scientists are still insisting that there could be a 1% chance that these giant sharks are still alive, we're still waiting for the day a diver will meet one and record it for us. That is, if he's lucky enough to post the video. Until next time, adios.